This is my model of an automatic transmission. Uh, the input is this handle here going to, through the center. The output is the annulus here with a blue mark to make it easier to see it turn. First gear is engaged with the clutch in this position and this brake engaged. As we turn here, we see that we've uh, geared down the system by a ratio of 4.28 to 1. In order to go to second gear, we shift the clutch in the center to this new position. We disengage this brake. We engage this brake down here. And now we can see that we have a higher ratio of 2.5 to 1 from the input to the output. Third gear is this position here. Removing this brake, engaging this brake. And we now have a ratio of 1.67 to 1, the output spinning faster yet. Fourth gear is in this position. Disengage this brake and engage this brake back on this side. And we can now see that we have an even faster output of 1.3 to 1. Fifth gear is with the clutch in this intermediate position and all brakes disengaged. This effectively locks the entire system together. This is known as drive in most cars because the input and output are one to one. Now sixth gear is called overdrive because it's actually faster than one to one. We engage this brake back here and we now have a 0.8 to one ratio where you can see the output going faster than the input. And then finally, if you want to put the vehicle into reverse, you bring the system back to this side, disengage this brake, engage this brake down here, and you can see now that the system is going in the opposite direction, but at a ratio of 3.9 to 1, nearly the same as in first gear.